Um, we're gonna break into this person's house. It's They're lame. not home yet. They're not home yet, so we're just gonna like use their crafting bench without permission. It's it's <laughs> legal. It's only illegal if you get caught. Yeah. That's it. Exactly. Um. Yeah. Shout out to spotters. <laughs> <laughs> They're not yeah, using it. You're allowed. Oh yeah, the, this map is so Metroid-y. But it's all like top-down like Zelda. It's, it's dope. We need to do away with surplus housing culture. That's right. Yes, yes no, uh, absolutely. Um, yeah, there is a huge problem with housing. And really, shelter is a basic human right. And everyone it does is. have yeah. shelter. It should not be a commodity. It's, real estate should not exist. I'll tell you what, I've, I've got a mortgage and everyone should have like everyone should have secure housing like like me like yeah. it, like i don't my my house apparently has a value like it doesn't fucking matter i live here mm -hmm. um i yeah like the idea that you could just make money off this shit rather than just like let people live in homes like fuck that yeah no one should own homes they're not using. i think that's yeah fucking bullshit. yeah no like you see a lot of stuff on twitter it's like oh you Oops. know like <laughs> limit people to two homes it's like well, why do you need two homes yeah. Like, you, you're trying to apologize for your best friend's holiday home that you stayed in, like, once. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, like, I, I can't get behind that. Like, yeah. And I, like, I say, you know, like, uh, I'm not going to go into all the details, but, you know, like, I'm, my family's in, well, my, my immediate family is in line to potentially get my mom's home, and that's probably going to, like, cause a whole lot of problems. But, um, mm. like, you know. If we're the not fact that we have to really inherit really. housing this at this point. Yeah. <laughs> even you know, even the ownership of property and land is like questionable. Oh, absolutely. Like, but yeah. My my <laughs> nan lived and died in public housing, and it was you know it was good stuff. Like those areas are completely gentrified now. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just absolute shit house areas. The wait for public housing here is uh, at five years at the moment. That's fucked. You can't be homeless for five years. I mean, like, obviously, it's like some people are, you know, couch surfing, living where they can, but, like, mm -hmm. the idea that you could, you know, not have secure housing for five yourself, years, yeah. that's, that's awful. Mm. I'm not in, no, I'm not in, like, in the royal family. <laughs> okay. um, no, my, my mum was fortunate when my grandmother died. She, she received a, a significant uh, inheritance there. Um, my dad had paid off the mortgage on his uh, disability pension and then aged pension. Um, you know, like, so, you know, this is, a, this is a pretty modest place. Um, you know, in like a, a relatively good area, but it wasn't a good area when they built here. Mm. Um, like those, those sorts of things have, uh, have sort of built up around. Like, I think yeah. when, when they built, like the only good thing was like, Murdoch University. There weren't hospitals. There were weren't many schools. Like mm -hmm. you know. Um, I mean, there's yeah, there's so much wrong with the kind of infrastructure we've built up. Um, yeah. For you know, just living in places. Mm. Um, what the what's the deal with suburbs? Like, <laughs> I don't like them. I like. I mean, I I thought urban sprawl in Perth was bad. I, I visited yeah. Melbourne like in 2016, 2019, and just going from the airport to the city centre, like there's just endless housing. It drives yeah. like drives me mad. Like if if I go from Perth Airport to my place, obviously I'm passing a whole bunch of suburbs and stuff. I might be on Row Highway or something. But um, you know, like a huge yeah. a huge problem we're facing right now is the overabundance of cars, and that's uh, oh, yeah. ruining the environment. But we need cars. That's how we've built our, <laughs> yeah, our society. Australia, Australia and the States both, like, terrible. Um, you yeah. can't get by without a car. Absolutely. And... Well, like, that was, that was, um, when, when Scott Ludlam was trying to get re-elected, um, like, they had the whole WA 2.0 thing, and th their big thing was pushing for, um, like, like, degrowth, basically. So, moving mm. people towards apartments where, you know, all the utilities are hooked up, or, you know, you get fibre to the place, NBN, or whatever, fibre to the basement if it's an apartment, I guess. Uh, it, it's a lot easier to, to wire everything up, make everything, like, good. Um, mm. But also, you get people on public transit routes, so they don't need cars, except in, like, specific circumstances, you know? Like, I, yeah. I, I work in aged care. Like, I, I that means... Like, Aged care is sort of taught alongside disability care because you do get very similar needs. Um, you know, like, you do get people who do need, like, you know, special wheelchair cars and 
they might have needs that that sort of make it uh and I'm, I'm trying to be gentle here but some people you know they might make other people's uh, experiences uncomfortable so almost died just there <laughs> <laughs> um you know there is a place for individualized transport but i don't believe we should build a society around it it's fine i agree i agree um public transport should be the priority yeah we should be able to be access everything we need oh absolutely without and... yeah having to travel a million miles for a yeah. start but if, if we do have to travel yeah. far that the public transport infrastructure should be good enough to like make sure we can absolutely i mean as i say like i my, my, my parents never had a car so you know that's one cost we never had to worry about but yeah. public transport around here is actually pretty decent for the most part so pretty happy with that i, I yeah. can get everywhere i need to go there's definitely worse places than Australia to have public transport. <laughs> you know, I suppose if you live in the CBD, if you can somehow afford that, <laughs> um, yeah. then the free trams and stuff is pretty great. But, um, mm. it's a long way to go. <laughs> right. So much of the last year has been me trying to, like, um, decouple myself from felonious propaganda and just like yeah just um rethinking a lot of things we um mm. just assume as normal and you know that are kind of weird <laughs> i mean oh, yeah. like that that's something that's like you know it's sort of accepted in my like my transition because it's just like okay well yeah i'm not gonna have a wife two kids a two-car garage and you know like that's that's just not on the cards mm. um and yeah you sort of reprioritize everything so it's just like okay well now everything's about like survival housing food yeah it's it's, looks, it's different 